Hey, this is Matt Reisinger, Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. Just wanted to give you a quick post today on my thoughts on sheetrock. This is a house that we just insulated with spray foam insulation, and we passed our uh, insulation inspection through the city of Austin today. We're getting ready to hang sheetrock. And I wanted to talk quickly about the difference between half-inch rock and five-eighths inch rock. Um, half-inch sheetrock is what you see in most homes on the walls. And probably in the last five to ten years, we've started using 5 8 sheetrock on the ceilings. It gives a much stiffer sheetrock. You have less um, chances of that sheetrock bowing between your joists, your ceiling joists, especially if they're on 24-inch centers. Uh, however, I'm a big fan of using 5 8 inch sheetrock everywhere in the house. And the reason being, uh, when we uh, frame the house with traditional lumber, although we are using finger-jointed lumber most of the time that's much straighter, this 5 8 rock just smooths over any small inconsistencies between those studs. Gives a much straighter, um, much better finish quality job. And the other nice thing about it, it's got a little more mass than half inch drywall. So uh, it's a little more durable and also absorbs sound a little bit better in between your rooms. It's not a whole lot more in this house. Uh, it was maybe a $300 upcharge going from the half inch to the 5 8 rock. We're in about a 2200 square foot house. So it was not a whole lot of money but I think it makes a really big difference in the finished quality of your sheetrock. So if you're building or remodeling in the next couple of years, ask your drywall contractor what the upcharge would be to go to a 5 inch rock, five eight inch rock for your house everywhere, and not just on your ceilings. I think you'll find it makes a big difference in the finished quality. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.